Here's another what I done did video. Uh, what I have on my quad is a uh, little plastic plate that's actually screwed to the uh, board that extends out on the 450. You can see there's two screws right there. Anyway, there's four screws on there. I have that set up with uh, the GoPro mount for the gimbal. Now let's get the gimbal. That has the uh, made in GoPro mount. I got this idea from Fishy Comics. Uh, he put that uh, little uh, GoPro mount on his gimbal so I thought okay I, I like that idea so I used it. So I put that on mine Screw, I stuck the uh, the GoPro the the sticky back GoPro mount to the little piece of plastic. Screwed that to the uh, copter. Well, when I wanted to put the non gimbaled GoPro mount on, I had to unscrew this plate, cut the tie wraps from a little FPV camera. Anyway, unscrew the plate and use whatever mounting screws that I had. It was two out of the three screws to this that I would put on there and screw that down. Well, I got, that that's just too much work. So I thought, well, you know, I got this GoPro mount. Why don't I just figure out a way to put another one of these on the Blade 350 GoPro mount. So what I did, I had another one of these uh, GoPro mounts that with the little three screws on the bottom uh, to take that apart. I, I had to file down a couple of things on the uh, blade mount. One of them is this little bat mounting post right here. Had to cut it down and angle it to get the GoPro mount to fit flat on there. And you can almost see the screws. These are 440 flatheads uh, screws with a few washers, a lock washer, and a nut to hold those together. And then if you look real carefully inside there, you'll see the, the backing nuts to screw it to this top plate. I also had to grind those down. They stuck through just a, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds of an inch. So I had to get my Dremel tool out with my grinding wheel and grind those down because they were actually hitting this bottom plate. Now uh, they're not hitting. They're not too far away. Uh, if I had to guess, I'd say it's maybe only about uh, seven or eight thousandths, but it's missing it now. Uh, so anyway, what I want to do, or what I can do, I have my little immersion OSD on Velcro. I have to actually take that, move it out of the way, to uh, actually to hook the gimbal on because it goes from the back forward. So if I want to switch, I unplug it, take that off. Put this one and slide this one on, and I'm all set to go without the gimbal. And the reason this uh, board is removable is so I can get my fingers in the back of this. I can do this, and it pops off real easy now. Lands on the floor. There it is. Yeah. And the, the blue tape is on the uh, lens cap, so I can see that the lens cap is on the camera. Uh, once you forget that the lens cap is on there because it's black, it looks exactly like the camera, and you get back and your video is totally black, you'll probably do something similar to that. Also on my FPV camera, I have a little blue tape on that. But anyway, the short story is, uh, I can switch from the gimbal with this little stuff to the non gimbal GoPro mount in just uh, a very short period of time. One thing I had to do, the little piece of plastic I had here is not exactly smooth. There's just a tiny bit of grain on it. Uh, the first time I put the GoPro uh, uh, double sticky tape GoPro mount on there, it actually came loose. Fortunately, I'm a believer in tethers. So I had this on there and I had a, a tie wrap basically around these two back rubber mounts 
and tie wrap to those two mounts so when it did came come loose it didn't fall off it just kind of dangled a little bit so uh, I do the same thing with this when this is uh, snapped on oh forgot to say after that came loose I used super glue to glue that down it hasn't come loose I don't want to totally trust it uh, so instead of hanging from relying everything on that double sticky 3M tape I use a tether so what I did on this one and I've already cut it off but it's a tie wrap through the mounting hole to this so even if that comes loose it may be dangling but at least it's not going to fall to the ground anyway hope this video helps you guys out uh, feel free to uh, use my ideas whichever you want thanks bye